Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Chris, aka Spirit. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming to my channel. This is a reading from four, sorry, Pisces from February 1st to the 14th of the month. Obviously, time is an illusion, so this is when I'm uploading the video. But if you find this a year from now, six months from now, and it resonates, it was meant to be. So if you are not resonating with this as the reading goes on for those of you who are Pisces, then you might want to check where your sign falls in the planet alignment and all that good jazz astrology wise. So the deck that I used was Dreams of Gaia, which is the top row and the bottom row are the seven energies deck. Now I apologize for the glare as it is in the morning time right now. And we have a lot of sun coming in this window right here to the right of me, which is where my hand is right here. That's where the, uh, window is and so there's a lot of bright light plus pugsley you'll hear him pitter pattering because um he is in he has two beds over here he has wednesday's bed and his bed and he moves from it when i'm doing energy work here and doing readings and channeling you'll sometimes hear him so i apologize for any noises um i'm gonna take a drink as i was shuffling the deck i want to say this first before i start the reading my readings this year are going to be more consistent. I'm going to be adding more content and different types of readings. Um, as I was shuffling this deck, as I have been explaining in a lot of my videos, I decided instead of just shuffling and uh, showing you all of that, I get right to the readings when you come to the channel and any information that you need about me is below. So that's why I'm doing this. But as I was shuffling the deck, I need to say this. I'm having a lot of throat issues, um, clearing of my throat, um, like a lump in my throat, um, a lot of stuff going on with my throat. I feel like those of you who are watching this um, in the Pisces charts, you uh, are not speaking your truth. You are not um, telling someone how you feel about them. That is huge. That's what I'm being shown right now. Uh, so there's two things I'm being shown. One is that you have someone you're interested in. You're not speaking your truth. You're not telling them that you care about them. Okay, Pisces. And then on the other side, the other group that I see is that you are not speaking your truth when it comes to your intuitive, empathetic abilities. Okay, so those are the two things that are coming through. So, all right, so we're going to start with the seven energies deck at the bottom here. Um, you have the exposed and revealed. You have the hunger view and you have the land between. So these cards all laid out together are about awakening. And I feel like those of you who I just said are not speaking your truth about your abilities. You are currently embarking on a very slow going awakening, but you're battling it. And what I mean by that is someone who maybe is in a religious aspect or old programming with religion or some type of path where your subconscious unconsciousness or people around you would not accept you or aren't as open-minded and so you are like holding your own meaning you you have this empath empathic ability in your intuitiveness and there's so many different abilities that you can have with being intuitive um you're not embracing them you're like it's almost like you're keeping them in the closet like i did okay that's what they're showing me it's almost like they're hidden within you but you kind of let them peek out a little bit here and there to kind of test the waters kind of like they're showing me when an animal's testing the water temperature right when they go like this right that's what they're showing me because you're afraid fear is not your friend listen people who don't accept you and this is scary i know but people who don't accept you for who you truly are within you are not people you want to be in your life. I've learned that the hard way in my life. So this is what the exposed and revealed is. There's no way you can fight this. You need to embrace it. This is your destiny to be who you are. I also feel like, and this is something that has never come through in any of my readings. Okay, so listen, I am not someone who judges people by sexuality gender or color of their skin i am not that person i never will be that person i see people as souls okay and i am being shown that this person or these groups of people there's at least one or two of you that are going to watch this at some point 
that are transgender individuals that have an intuitive ability but you're super afraid to share that because you already have been slowly sharing about your gender issues and i don't mean issues as in bad i mean why you haven't shared it up until now until this last year because we all know how the world is people are ignorant they've always been ignorant even with my ancestors the witches who were burned at the stake and my ancestors pagan being burned for being witches even though they weren't i completely completely empathetic am, am empathetic to that and i completely can understand why you don't want to have a voice about it but you have a beautiful ability whoever this is i'm talking to i think there's two of you in this group that are on this uh on this path and you have a beautiful gift and a beautiful soul and a beautiful light about you i'm getting super emotional now you are loved and you are seen and if people are cruel or step away from you if you embrace this ability to do this what i'm doing you need to really step back and realize that you are worthy of so many more people that would love you unconditionally and not judge you because a true friend or a true family member as hard as it is to accept someone who's intuitive like myself and i've gone through persecution for this i hid this for almost half of my life i completely understand but you are a beautiful soul all of you who are watching this who are resonating with this and you deserve to have people around you that genuinely care about you all of you we all have flaws we all have scars we all have our histories we all have our own stories now the higher view comes out this is when you finally embrace who you're meant to be and she's soaring on the owl that is huge at some point this year you're going to struggle with this, right? Both your, all of you with the, that are resonating with this who have the intuitive ability. You are going to struggle with releasing it and showing it. And then the gender specific people that I'm talking to, you're going to struggle with that as well. But I feel like a majority of you are going to embrace it and go with the flow and do the work you need to do to know that when you accept yourself completely and love yourself completely, look at the sky is the limit you're soaring on this owl you're showing people who you truly are and you may lose people and it may be painful and you may cry and you may be upset and there may be angry people who are mad at you for doing this and 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 racist and ignorant people but know that there are always people like myself who never ever judge anyone by color sex gender abilities whatever whatever it is okay there's always going to be ignorant people in the world. So these two huge, uh, these huge messages that I'm channeling today in this reading for you are, are just overwhelming, um, Pisces, overwhelming. Because then the deck that, the card that comes out is the land between, which is the huge step of going from your awakening and embracing your abilities and your gift and who you are as a person that's why it's showing this you're walking to cross and you're finally going to be on the path that you're meant to be on and it is divinely guided and the angels are around you and know that you're not alone and you are seen i feel like a big group of you are feeling invisible at times where it's overwhelming and even though you're in a room full of people or you're around people you still feel invisible and i feel this so hard right now i wish i could hug all of you but know that you're not alone if anything i see you the angels see you those who protect you who are around you all the time see you those that you lost in your life are still around in death are watching over you i promise you that Whew, deep and that's only three cards in Whew. so now we have the dreams of Gaia deck this artist is amazing her art her symbolism in her deck speaks to me I have about five decks that really speak to me when I'm really channeling like I am today and this is because of the moon we're just coming off of that I'm channeling all this information so the water sign this is the water sign this is reiterating who you are Pisces 
embracing that part of you i'm sorry about the glare but it's because of the sun i already closed the blinds but let me see if i can move this down a little bit don't do anything not really um oh i gotta go closer i'm sorry about the red dot look at how beautiful she is this is the card that always comes out for water signs whether doesn't matter which water sign you are this is the card that always comes through and it gives me when i'm doing readings or channeling they give me the atlantis atlenian um vibe to them the mermaid vibe with this this is who you truly are water sign and it's just reiterating that this reading is definitely for you and then you get this beautiful 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 king of water okay so for a group of you you are going to meet your person now whenever you see decks that have male and females right and i say male or female i do not mean gender specific i am specifically talking about energies because everyone has the ability to have female and male energy it's a given the balance of it is what's what we need to work on right because some people are more male than female and they need to embrace more of their female energy this is a male energy that's coming through very strongly in your cards that is actually either for those of you who are in a relationship this is your person and those of you who are not in a relationship this will be your person okay very very strong male energy very stubborn very set in their ways but extremely loyal and they have reasons for being set in their ways when it comes to certain things and for those of you they're telling me who haven't met this person yet when you first meet them and you will meet them this year you might not consider them your type however as we all know soulmates are meant to be and this person is destined to be your soulmate and you are going to accept things in them that you normally are not attracted to it's not that they're wrong things it's that you're not used to them and that's not something you're usually attracted to they're a seriously loyal person um, and very strong boundaries in certain situations and they're very respectful and they keep showing me loyal 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 now the emotions card came out because all water signs we know are emotional right we are all emotional beings like really emotional so this is reminding you that it is going to get to be super emotional with this retrograde okay it's going to be a bumpy ride i keep saying this to people i've been trying to warn them of it way before it started it's going to be a really bumpy ride for a lot of us and I keep saying this in every reading they're telling me to say this to you all. There are some of us that have done our work and the ride is going to be like a roller coaster, right? We're going to have dips and turns and we're going to be flipped upside down and etc. right? And we're going to be calm. We're not going to be, I mean, we're going to be excited. Our endorphins are going to be crazy, right? Like you are on a roller coaster, but it's not going to be like panic or anxiety. However, some of you, and you know who I'm talking to, who have not done the work and only done the surface work it's going to be like a hell ride it's going to be like huge dips and curves and drops and flipping you upside down and you're going to be like freaking out and fear is going to kick in and that is exactly how they're describing it to me because you only took the short way and worked on the surface and now they're like ha 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 guess what you didn't want to work on this issue well guess what the retrograde's coming and we're pulling it out of the air and we're going to give it to you and you're going to have to face it this is why <coughs> excuse me people walk around and i noticed this on social media people walk around and i call them the spiritual narcissist not judging just sharing what i perceive they are spiritual narcissists who act like they've done the work, but they really haven't. And they constantly spread very low vibration. And they feed off of that low vibration to carry on what they need to carry on and do what they need to do. 
I strive this and they're telling to tell you this because this is my this is my my path this is my gift this is my journey this is what they're pushing me to do is to share that those of you who watch readings those of you who believe in all of this you need to be more careful of who you follow on youtube instagram facebook twitter etc friends follows everything you need to eliminate or mute people who are negative or toxic because it ends up being very heavy on your heart as well as readers you need to eliminate and only follow certain readers because i'm going to tell you so many of these really big readers are keeping you in your low vibration because it keeps you coming back to their readings and buying their private readings if you are a good reader and i'm sorry i'm not saying that this to be negative towards anyone i'm just speaking my truth but if i am a genuine person an intuitive medium who is genuinely channeling for someone i am only supposed to do a reading if anything once a year but if you continually go back to people for readings all the time and i'm talking like big readings they're not the right reader for you now i do patreon where i do monthly readings mini readings but that is for people who are looking for mentoring my patreon is for people who are in the beginning of the stages of understanding either either twin souls or soulmates or their abilities and so it's my mentoring that i do on patreon that's why i offer the monthly readings but if you are going to someone consistently all the time paying tons of money out all the time maybe you need to look for someone to mentor like that mentor can mentor you because a lot of these readers and they keep telling me to tell you this even though i'm going to get a lot of slack for this spirits like maybe you shouldn't say so much uh they're keeping you in your low vibration i'm gonna leave it at that this this is key this is the man this is the, the card that i love look at all the chakras this is when you are in full alignment and you have i'm sorry about the light you are in full alignment i'm gonna have to move the cards i mean move the desk at some point like get a, another station to sit at but for now i hope you can see that you need to do your work this is the chakras he's smiling his third eye right up above the third eye this is spirit shining the light through you and the chakras are aligned this is what you are ultimately there we go this is what you are ultimately trying to do is reach this now i use this card a lot to describe to people what it is like when you do my meditation where i explain how to ground yourself and how to embrace your energy if you feel under not aligned i apologize pugsley no. here's somebody out in the front of the yard and when he feels something out in the front of the yard he calls his sister it's so funny give me one second i'm just gonna pause it for a minute sorry about that i just had to let the dog go out so i am back i apologize i just paused it for a moment so where we were was aligning the chakras so this card is the card I sometimes use to explain to people how to cleanse um, if you're having an issue where you're feeling other people especially if you're an empath and you're having a good day right and all of a sudden you know it's not you and you're trying to focus to shake off the energy I tend to use this card to illustrate that now the card next to it is the another sign that I get for water signs however it's about movement okay this is the movement card you'll see her with her the fish and she's just laying there floating and they're going by this is her submerged in water this is another atlantean atlantis feel vibe for the water signs and this is going with the flow this is you getting comfortable after all of this activity happens and being in your self being your 100 authentic self this is huge see her third eye she has the third eye and she's just very content comfortable in her her body or or his body it's not gender specific it is soul specific and i tend to tell this to a lot of people in my readings and i'm sorry if i repeat myself but when i say female male it is energy not gender I feel like the persons and persons I'm reading for in this collective are transgender and struggling with the intuitive ability not only coming out as transgender and whatever that means to you. 
So if you've already slowly come out and shown that you are transgender, whatever that means for you, then the intuitive part is you're super scared about because of the reaction you got and the friends you lost when you released yourself, right? And showed who you truly are. I want you to know, I need to say this again before I end this reading, that you are seen. You are not invisible, okay? When you struggle with those moments, you need to reach out to those you are trusting, those who genuinely have your well-being at heart and there are people around you you know that will be that person now for your sign i i think i need to do an extended version for the person i'm speaking to the people i'm speaking to that are transgender and gifted i think i have some messages channeling from spirit in regards to how to embrace um that side of you sorry pugsley for some reason while i started talking about this it's like super, super wanting to get on my lap, and I'm not really sure why. I think he just feels my intense energy right now. So if you are interested in purchasing, donating, I should say, to the extended reading that I'm about to do, just look at the information below the read the below here under my social media links. It gives you the information that uh, regarding how to do so. If you'd like to reach out for a private reading, my email is listed below and all my social medias are listed below on my schedules regarding Twitch streaming as well as um, Patreon, as my Patreon private community, as well as my Instagram and my Facebook and my Twitter site. I will be having an Etsy up soon um, for some of the intuitive creations I'm creating, so look for that soon. And make sure if you're not subscribed that you subscribe. And if you are, all of you, make sure you hit that notification bell to alert you when I put new content on or if I go live because someone the other day said that it hasn't been working and they didn't know they had to click on the notification bell. So thank you so much. And I hope you have an amazing rest of your couple of weeks and I will see you for the next reading. Take care. Bye.